Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this brand new T880 day cab that I sold. Uh, this is one of three trucks that I sold to Wintech here in Winnipeg. So a big thank you to Doug at Wintech for purchasing this truck among six others this year. So thanks for the business, Doug, sure appreciate it. So let's check this truck out. Uh, like I said, this is one of three identical trucks uh, that we've sold. Sold this to Wintech here out of Winnipeg. Go check them out on Instagram and Facebook if you're into that kind of a thing. But this truck here is a 2022 T880 model day cab uh, set up for the gravel and construction industry. And uh, sell quite a few trucks in this, in this type of application. Uh, makes for a very good workhorse here with this T880. It's a 203 inch wheelbase. We ordered this truck with 13.2 front axle with the Super 40 rear ends. It has the tapered chrome channel bumper with a center toe pin. And our grill is stainless steel. It's not plastic, stainless steel, so heavy duty, it's gonna last a long time. Uh, we got the winter front clips with the winter front and then in behind here is the bug screen. Standard white color L0006 is the paint code. We use this on almost all of our white trucks. <laughs> so as far as the air intakes here, I've shown this before. We have the little fans in there. It's called the pre-cleaner. So that drops the dust out of the air before it hits the engine air filter. We order it with the air horns on the roof, beacons, LED lights on the roof, along with the stainless visor. I ordered this truck with dual exhaust. Those are five inch pipes, and I believe they're 36 inches tall, 32, 36 in that range. We did the rear jailhouse in the headache rack. The guys over at Fort Gary Industries wired and hooked up this truck. So all of these, we got your tarp. Uh, one of these would be for a tarp, I guess one for the, the lead and one for the rear because this is gonna haul Super Bs. And then we have your air lines and electrical lines and then the secondary trailer cord there for all your trailer functions. We order it with the natural finish aluminum fuel tank with the seven inch pipe, uh, seven inch straps on there. And then the def tank is right here. So this is uh, one of the last that I'll be selling with this old style def tank. The newer ones are a little bit narrower and then they square off the back end as opposed to notching it out. Suspension on this is the eight bag air ride, the Kenworth AG 400. We have the spring steel down low, and then the Y bracket right here. 11R225 tires on the back, aluminum Durabrite, sorry, aluminum high polished finish on the rims. We have the mud flap hangers right here that have the 45s on the ends. And like I said, these are the Super 40s, the Dana Spicer D40-172s with full locking differentials and a 391 gear ratio. We have 
drum brakes all the way around. Stainless steel half fenders installed. Factory installed hydraulic tank with the ports on the low side on the front and back. That way we, when we have a constant flow, there's no aeration in the tank. Did a center fill on the 75 gallon tank on this side here. And then right here is the DPF SCR Catalyst toolbox. That's diamond plate cover to match the, the passenger side. And as you know, the Ninja Star is in the other one because it is plugged off. We have a single connected exhaust and the other one is a dummy pipe just for, just for the look. We'll open up the hood here and show you what's inside. So we have the 510 1850 Torque Packar engine in this truck. Uh, this is a very nice engine to put into the construction industry. It's lightweight, uh, 400 pounds lighter than a Cummins, so you can get higher payloads uh, on, your, on your hauling, what you're doing. And uh, great power, customers really love this engine in this application, so we sell a pile of them. Here's your power steering. We got your fuel water separator right there. Engine oil fill and check. And then your fuel prime, prime, pump, prime pump is right there. <laughs> Uh, we have the drum brakes on the front as well, like I said. And then all your airlines, electrical lines, a lot of them are terminating, airlines are terminating at the firewall here. So when it goes into the cab, it is an electrical signal going from these solenoids and uh, the bus system to the switches. So you're not having airlines at the switches or at the gauges, it's all electronically controlled. We have some fuses in behind here. And we'll show you around the other side. Other side is where we have the safety latch right here, which automatically engages when you open the hood. And then uh, you can see the pre-cleaners right there with the little push nuts. Uh, so you can just give those things just a little flick uh, to clean them out. What you could do as well is uh, if you want to really clean out this filter, take off those seven bolts and uh, you can just give it a rinse out because it is not a, a serviceable filter, but it just collects the dust and drops it out in the bottom. So you wanna keep that clean. Uh, HVAC system is right up here. And then there's your turbo, your oil filters and your spinners, and then your coolant filter right there. So that's a little bit about the outside. I'll just give you a quick tour on the inside of this truck. All right, so as we walk into the cab here, it has the new black dash and the black door panels. Uh, so that's the standard configuration. The floor portion is black or very dark gray. I don't know. Depends on what your eyes see. We did the Vantage interior so you can see the nice straight stitching on the door pads. And then we have the uh, Vantage all the way around with a cloth headliner, which is standard. So this is the standard interior. Very nice, fully trimmed, fully lined. It's very luxurious very comfortable to sit in all day. There is the window lift controls, the mirror controls, and the mirror heat controls right up here. And then your door locks. Down below here, we have your adjustment for the dash lights, the interior lights, and your exterior light test. There's a switch for the beacons. Your lights on the side, the, these ones here are actually wired to a switch down low, and then these ones are mounted high up on the back of the cab. Rubber steering wheel uh, with your Jake control right here, uh, which means it has a 18 speed manual. Otherwise, if it was an automatic, it would have the shifter right up here on this side. There is your standard gauge cluster. This has been replaced now with the 15 inch display, which is standard on all new 2.1 meter cabs. And I'll be showing that in future trucks that are showing up here. So trucks like that one over there. This uh, dash here set up with uh, five additional gauges and then a storage pocket to just keep your cell phone or whatever you want to keep there, paperwork. And then we have another pocket down a little bit lower right there. Here's a spare switch, your trailer brakes, uh, engine fan. There's your cruise control, air traction control, a couple more spares. There is the uh, DPF regen switch, your air suspension dump, your front, your power divider, front and rear diff lock your PTO switch and then your fifth wheel slide and then there is your 
tailgate trip switch right there. I love these switches. They're just really cool. It's kind of like, I feel like I'm uh, Tom Cruise or Maverick in Top Gun, you know, for the missiles. <laughs> Anyways, uh, up above here is the exterior lights, your clearance lights and your trailer marker lights along with your hazards. And then this is the new cloth seat. So it's a very nice, uh, nice material, very soft on the hands. So very, very nice interior. Gotta love it. Uh, back here, this is what uh, the guys at Fort Gary Industries wired up on the tower for the flow control for the PTO. And then these are to, for your, your trailer, for your tarp front and rear trailer and then i believe this would be for your end end dump for your front and rear trailer as well so that is a little bit about this interior all right so that's it for this week's video thanks for watching i sure appreciate you sticking around here if you want to subscribe please do that if you want to check out my social media you can go to the kenworthguy.com and see all the different uh social media platforms that i am on uh, if you are interested in contacting me, again, go to my website there. You have all my contact information there. So again, a huge thank you to Doug at Wintech for purchasing this truck along with all the others this year. I sure appreciate all that, uh, all the business that you've, you've brought to us and uh, look forward to doing more in the future. So uh, thanks for watching and as always, have yourself the world's best day.